Hi, this is C. Josephine Wilkins. I have had a real, really good time this last spring uh, creating and enjoying a podcast, which has been great in the driver's seat. And anyway, uh, I had a request recently to go back to my videos. And the reason why I haven't been doing my videos is that um, the time that I have home, um, quite honestly, I, I want to spend with my dogs. And sometimes it, it uh, has <laughs> the time in which it's quiet and the light is right and the family's gone and la, la, la. It, um, me and my husband, um, meaning and the dogs. You know. Anyway, me trying to orchestrate everything so it was perfect and quiet and the light is right and da 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 da. Anyway, I just am giving all that up and I'm just going to show up where I'm at right now because that's been the request. And it's really fun for me to do this for myself. And so I'm hoping that um, as I kind of move into my own zone, that the information that comes down will be helpful for you. It's a whole bunch of fun for me. If you hear little snortlings, here's my little Charlie. <laughs> That's him. Um, one of my darling Garrett's Emily's in the other room. Anyway, so yeah, so... I'm going to take on the format of the podcast because that's what's been requested to explore in, in the video form and to see um, how fun, we can, how much fun we can have. So I'm going to start with three deep breaths. You can breathe with me. Take a deep breath in. So, as we begin, as we ground, as we root in, um, I'm going to just ask my guides what it is specifically that they would like me to talk about. I have a bunch of things. I'm excited. Okay, so let's let's find one or two guys. Yes. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So perspective on the old laws in a new world. There are two laws that we, there are many laws that operate in our world that are incredibly powerful for us and even more powerful for us when we understand them. You've probably heard of these before, but I'm being guided to go into them in more detail. One. The law of attraction. Law of attraction states that we are energetic and magnetic beings and that we are attracting into our life absolutely every single thing. Now, this can work for you when you consciously are aware of it. It's working for you all the time. It's like gravity. Gravity is holding me in this chair. Gravity is allowing you the opportunity to stay rooted in your experience to watch this video. Law of attraction is working the same way for you right now. Now, what's neat about the old world rule in a new reality, in a new uh, type of awareness and consciousness that's, that's starting to happen now in a big way in our species, is that when we become conscious and aware of this law, we can let it work for us. Meaning that there used to be sort of this notion that, you know, life happened to us. You know, that, that we were sort of a part of experience, but different things occurred for us. Instead of really owning that we're attracting and bringing all of what we want in. And when we understand that, that we're this very, very powerful magnet, we can shift our attention, we can shift our thoughts, we can move our focus in the direction of what it is that we want, because law states, then we'll get more of that. Second law that I'm going to be going over today, again, you probably have heard this before, but I want to reframe it in a new perspective in the sense that this, these laws have been around forever, right? <laughs> And what's neat about what's happening right now, and I'm talking about the end of May, right now where, where I'm speaking from, is that we in a very massive way, in a very large way, are beginning to understand this. Now, the second law is that you create your own reality. So, again, we, we often thought that, you know, we were sort of, you know, that, that life was happening to us and for many of us, me included, this is still a lot of the times an intellectual idea that 
I'm talking about because as I teach it, it embodies it more in my life and I get to see it operate in other people's lives even more powerfully. This notion that when we shift our perspective, we have the opportunity to create what it is that we want. So we're creating all of this, the good and the bad. Now, side note to this is that when you start to recognize, oh my gosh, this crappy situation that I'm in, whatever it might be, is something I've created. Now, what can happen, and I see this happen a lot, and the reason why people get frustrated with this law is they go, well, great, I created this, you know, and I, you know, they sort of get in this self-blame, self-hate mode. Now, the new age, the new, the new perspective on the old rules is that when you're aware of these laws, when you understand that you create your own reality, you can use that information as a very powerful point of leverage because with that information, you then have the opportunity to shift and do something different. So you're in something that you don't like or, you have, or you're in a situation where you don't have what you want yet. You can understand in a very conscious and real, everyday, moment-to-moment way that because you create your own reality, you can bring it in. The law of attraction, the, you take your focus, point it on in the direction of what it is that you want, it will come in. And because then you have the notion that you are attracting and you are creating your entire reality, anything that you don't like in your life, you now have the opportunity to consciously, powerfully go, aha, I don't like this. I am creating this. And we might feel a little bit depressed and sad. That's all good. Negative emotion is, is a real gift. It's a blessing. It motivates us in that discomfort to move more towards what it is that we want. So we understand we're creating our reality. And then from that point, we can then use law of attraction. Again, take advantage of all of that, our magnetic, powerful point of attraction that we are in quite naturally, and say, all right, so I want to create something else. And then you start understanding that you have the power to create something else. You have the power to create something very different. Now, what's happening right now, and it's been happening for a while. It's been going on in phases. But when I first started doing this work, I was very much sort of... Um, I'd say in the closet about it, you know, people feel uncomfortable with the word psychic, they feel uncomfortable with the, the word intuitive guide, but in, just in the last year, in the last six months, there's been this wonderful opening of people welcoming in more of what it is that I do, and more and more people like myself are stepping forward, and this is because what's so neat is that as a species, we're becoming more aware of the need to connect into spirit, and in a way that we've never really quite experienced before. We're becoming more awake. We're becoming more conscious. Now, I say that because that, that's, that's the real great part of what's going on. But I want to just invite you, because <laughs> I'm hearing this a lot. People are like, what is going on? Anything that you have in your life that isn't working, a job, a relationship, the way you look at finance, the way you're living in health, the way that you are um, you know, in communion with nature, whatever it is in your life that is out of whack right now you're gonna feel this push this universal push to move you in the direction of your soul path that's gonna get even more and more intense so as people become more awake as they become more conscious uh, of what is going on there is gonna be this <laughs> there's gonna be this awesome increase in rising resistance to the parts of us that aren't really wanting to look at the shadow aspects, that aren't really wanting to look at the, the dirty parts of our world and who we are. But this is the time right now to do it because as you do it, you're just going to, more than ever, you're going to be bounding forward, jumping forward in leaps and bounds. And these laws that we have, we can really let them work for us the more conscious and awake we are of them. So old laws new game, new reality, new opportunity to apply them, and, and that's why you came down. So my intention is for you that this video reminds you of what you already know and that you get to utilize it in a way that brings you more fulfillment, more bliss, and more good feeling. Lots of love your way. Namaste.